The interior defensive line class is a pretty solid one. There are a number of guys that I think could be pretty solid NFL players. We've discussed a number of these guys already, but one of the guys that a lot of people are pretty high on is Clemson defensive tackle Ruka Rohiro. Admittedly, coming into the season, I was a bit higher on his teammate, Tyler Davis, but after a very strong year and combine showing for Rook, it looks like he has the potential to be taken fairly highly in the 2024 NFL Draft. But hey guys, if you guys are new to the channel, consider hitting that like and subscribe button. Leave a comment and let me know which players you guys would like to see me talk about in the next video, and without further ado, let's get into it. Orojaro has been a pretty solid player for the Tigers over the past couple of seasons. In 2022, he finished the year with 21 hurries, 3 hits, and 3 sacks on the season. There was a lot of buzz entering 2023, and he delivered. He finished the 2023 season with 17 hurries, 4 hits, and 5 sacks on the year, and after a very strong showing at the draft combine in Indianapolis, many people think he could be taken a bit higher than was initially expected. Orojaro has some pretty solid size at the defensive tackle position. He looked a little small to me at times on tape at Clemson, but I was pleasantly surprised with his combine measurements. He weighed in at 6'4", 294 pounds, and he has the ideal size to play on the inside. He has long arms, big hands, I think he's got a really great body for an interior defender. Athletically, I am super impressed by Rook's profile. He has super solid quickness off the line of scrimmage, and he has some pretty great track down speed as well. He is very strong, and he does a very good job of getting into the backfield and pushing linemen backwards. He ran a 4.89 40-yard dash, which was one of the better times for the interior defensive class. From an athletic standpoint, he is very impressive. One of my favorite things about Rook is his ability as a bull rusher. He shows some pretty solid upside, he uses his upper body strength, and he's got a very strong motor that he uses to just run offensive linemen over. Another thing that Rook offers is he has some positional versatility. Clemson lined him up in a number of different areas. They played him on the inside, which was his primary position, but they did play him off the edge at times, and he played well there also. Based on his size, he will be an interior defender at the NFL level, but it is nice to know that he has the athleticism to play virtually anywhere on the defensive line, which is something that I like. Rook has a lot of tools that are very solid, but that's just it, tools. He still is a very raw prospect in my opinion. For one thing, he was very inconsistent in his hand placement. He does not feel like he knows how to fully leverage himself on a consistent basis, and it leads to him playing off-balanced. I want to see that improve. I want to see him do a better job of getting his hands and being a little bit more violent with them, because when he can do that, he could be a really dynamic player. As a pass rusher, he has a good bull rush, but it feels like he is lacking some more pass rush moves. I think he needs to develop a little bit more because his bull rush becomes a little bit too predictable for offensive linemen. He really struggles to shed blockers at times, and it is something I want to see improve. A good spin move, a good up and under, they could do wonders for him, and it could make him a really, really good player at the next level. Really, a lot of his weaknesses come from a lack of moves and a lack of consistency in his hands. He shows a lot of tools that are really solid, and we know he is quick, we know he's strong, and we know he's a really good athlete, but he has yet to put everything all together so far. I think he can develop into being a pretty solid interior pass rush presence, but for right now, I do have my concerns. He is my number 10 defensive tackle in the draft class. He has some very good tools, but I think there are some more complete players in this class who have equally high ceilings. I still think he can develop into a solid player, but as of right now, he is my number 96 player in the draft class. I think that Rook will translate best to a 4-3 defensive scheme. With his size and his skill set, 
I think he will thrive as a pass rusher from the inside in a 4-3. That is primarily where he was used at Clemson, and I think that's where he's going to be best at the NFL as well. My player comparison for Orohiro is David Onyemeda. Both of them have nearly identical size measurements, but they both came into the league with some question marks. We knew they were both very good athletes, but we had some questions on consistencies, and I think in terms of a skill set, they're very similar. Onyemeda has been a bit of an underrated player over the last few seasons, and I think Rook can have a similar impact on the field. Rook Orohiro has a lot of upside. We know he is a fantastic athlete, but we need to see some more consistencies in his game. I still think he's a bit of a project, but ultimately, I believe he will be a third round pick in the 2024 NFL Draft.